hopefully this will be the last day for the siding and the electrical. I want to finish it by two because I've got some other stuff to do. And so I'm going to get all this siding tied down. This wall is almost done. I just need a few more screws on the walls to hold it on. The trimmer, everything around the door is cut. I just need to trim it in and screw it down. The front is done. Um, this side, everything is cut. I just need to make cut the trim pieces out and screw them down. So I got to cut some trim and uh, drill it out and then I'll be able to attach all this down, hopefully. Before you put the siding on, mark where the beams are. Mark the outside edges of them so you can, when if you're going to screw down to them, you can get to them. I only did it on the top on this side. I forgot to do it on the bottom. It was really a pain, as you saw in the last little segment. It was a pain to get those lined up, but I kind of missed one over on the edge. But I got enough of the metal that it was it was usable. So mark the center points or or the edges of your your beams here so that you'll know where to put your screws in through your paneling once you got it on because you can't see them. So I used the magnet to help me find him, but it was still a close thing. I'm going to get back onto this. to here putting these panels on I'm working on the last panel now screwing it down I just am tying the centers down because these edges will actually be held down by the uh, frame supports for the bed and their shelving so on these ones I've marked where my beams are before I put my panel on make life easy and I've marked the center point I'm using this tool it's called an omni grid it's actually a sewing tool which is really handy and it, it's nice because you can look through it to see your markings on your wall so this is a really nice tool and I'm just going down and I'm marking the center point down here for me I'm marking it at 17 inches because my measuring board that I've made that has the markings on it one is for when I have trim down on the bottom and one is for when I have no trim and I just line that up to the center point down on the bottom I line it up to the center line because it's not full height I line it up to the center line I just marked and then I could go down and mark right where these lines are and I know I have a line of holes that are basically the right spacing it's not rocket science obviously basically the right spacing and then they're going to line up on the beam uh, on the metal rail and then i can use my big magnet to check and make sure that i'm at least fairly close if it seems like it's offset a little bit to one side or the other then i might offset my drill hole just a little bit to make sure i'm hitting a good piece of that metal underneath so make your life easier make tools that will increase uh, your speed and productivity interior paneling on minus a couple little trim pieces that I'm probably gonna have to put on here and there the door panel I, I ran out of screws I need quite a few more I've, I've only done about a third of them on some of these pieces and so I'll, I'll need a lot more screws these pieces here the, the uprights will, will hold these down from the exterior so that won't be a problem and I'll, I'm it'll just bolt these on straight here there and there'll be one back there and then the front piece, there's going to be another upright. There'll be another upright right here, which will hold up the smaller bed. And then there's going to be another one right in here somewhere that will hold that bed up as well. So I need some more screws, but I'm going to clean this sucker up. I'm going to load it up and I'm going to take it up to the shop and hopefully get my trailer tails on. I wanted to show you the final step here in my paneling before I seal it up, basically. The final step before my trip. I'm going to be cutting the holes out for the vents. There's one down here low and there's one up high. And these are the original vents that came in it. I'm just going to reuse these. So I need a hole basically right there where the vent is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and I'm going to drill a hole from the outside of the vent with this long drill bit to come out somewhere on the inside of that cavity.
Okay, so I know now that that is somewhere in my cavity. And I'm going to use uh, my, or my headphones. I'm going to use this really cool tool here. This is my rotary saw. I use it for cutting out things like this, pockets and holes. And I got this little oversized bit, but it's, if you look at it, it's got this round tip on it. So there's, the blade doesn't extend to the tip. This is called a guided tip. And so now I'll be able to, to put this inside the, the hole that I just drilled. And this guided tip will trace the inside of the circle that's in there already. It's really sweet. There you can see that I neatly traced the inside of that hole with that guided tip. It just ran along the inside edge of that and traced it around. So now, I'm going to pull the extra chips out of the way. I'm going to put my plug on, which is going to line up the exterior one nicely. Make sure it's level. And then... I found a way to get up onto my bed. Oh, good. And now, let me finish this last bit, baby. Show me. All right. And now I made this cap to go over it right there. Right, so that I can move it on and off. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a spring and put it on a longer screw, like that. This spring's a little long. I might have to get a shorter one. Put that through the screw there. And put that right there. Now, I can move that, and the spring will keep it tight so I can have full vent if I want, or just partial. And that should be the end of my paneling. I clean this stuff up. Family's already kind of moved into the trailer, and we're going to go on our trip.